Fish Slayer Bait Review, today on Fishing for the Rest of Us. Welcome to Fishing for the Rest of Us, I'm your host Spencer. If you haven't already, be sure to click that button below right now and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all the latest video updates here at Fishing for the Rest of Us. Well, I'm pretty excited because today I got a package in the mail from my good friends over at Fish Slayer Baits. They sent me some new soft plastics to review and I can't wait to see them. So let's get this opened up and check out the baits. Alright, so first thing out of the bag, we've got some nice looking craws. I really like that green color, I think that'll be good for bass. Next, we've got some lures that are actually made from bottle caps. Now those are going to come into play for a later episode, stay tuned for that one. And last, we've got one of my favorite baits of all time, Senko Worm, in a nice fluorescent pink color that I've never used before. Right now we're going to take a short break to move the camera in and take a closer look at these baits. Okay, so the first one we're going to take a look at is the Kras. So right off the bat, I do like the color. I love green color. I do very well for bass with the green. I like the little bit of translucentness to it and the little black pepper flake going through it. Gives it a little bit of extra color. They've also got these nice ridges on the claws, which gives it a very nice action when moving through the water. And I do like the extra long legs as well. That'll give it a little something extra moving through the water to catch the eye of those bass. So these look really nice. Can't wait to try them out. Next, we're going to take a look at the Sanko worms. Like I said, Sanko worms are one of my all-time favorite bass baits, so I'm pretty excited for these ones. I've never gotten the chance to use a translucent pink one like this before, so it should be pretty cool. As you can see, again, I love the color on these, love the little flakes inside, give it a bit of sparkle, catch the bass's eye. And these are actually a pretty low profile slender Sanko worm, so hopefully they'll be good for fishing around heavy weed cover. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do a whole fishing trip, but we couldn't wait to see these baits in the water, so we went to our local pond to get an underwater view of the baits. The smaller size Sanko worms are a bit lighter and have a slower sink rate, so I found they work best when paired with a 1 8 ounce jig head when wacky rigging. When the weight of the jig head pulls the worm down in the water, the bait's slender profile gives it a really nice wiggling action. These baits would also work well with a Texas rig, and I'm definitely going to give that a try at a later date. The translucent pink has a very unique look underwater, which I like. It's something different other than your traditional colors, and I'm hoping it'll catch the fish's eye. For the craws, a Texas rig is definitely the way to go. The position of the weight will keep the body of the bait closer to the bottom, while letting the legs and the claws freely float in the current. These baits can be skipped along the bottom, through weeds, rocks, and sticks, or retrieved with a mid-water jigging action, which gives the craws a nice flutter as they pass by. Their bright green color with the flakes shows up great underwater, and I think the bass are going to love it. Well, now that I've taken a closer look at these baits, I can tell you I really like the colors, and I absolutely can't wait to try them out on the water. I want to thank Brandon and Fish Slayer Baits for sending us these to do a review on. If you guys want to try them out for yourself, check them out at fishlayerbaits.co. We really hope you enjoyed our video today enough to give us a thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all the latest video updates here at Fishing for the Rest of Us. On behalf of the whole crew, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.